Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this five options a wall corner infographic slide. You can see I have this is a wall where one side I have I put a company logo and the company name. Then I have added the corner the options till option five and then you can add the title of that options and some text and on the right side of I have added a company mission likewise I have created one more slide with uh, three options only so let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering half of the slide make it no outline and you can give some different color i'm just going to give some light gray and press ctrl d at the other side of the slide and give somewhat dark color make sure that this is aligned properly go to insert shapes select a rectangle again draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape under effects 3d rotation select the off axis one left it will show you something like this you can increase the size a little bit more I'll reduce the size a little bit because it's bigger maybe this much size is okay and then press ctrl D then go to effects again now presets under 3d rotation select the other side which is off axis to right and perfectly align it and if you want we can give a different color also here later on we'll change the color i'm just going to give some a light color here and i'm just going to give maybe a orange color zoom in and you have to make sure that this is perfectly aligned then go to insert shapes select trapezoid draw the trapezoid something like this and then using this arrow just rotate a little bit and you have to make sure that this is properly properly aligned I'll remove the outline reduce the size and I can make somewhat bring this inside still this is not bend you have to bend it properly increase the size so that I think this is okay and then select this and you can say bring to front and little bit I'll make it down all right now I'm going to select this and rotate the other side and copy it here You have to spend a little bit time here to do the perfect alignment and I'm going to give some different color here so that I can see whether it is aligning properly or not. I 
I think this is okay I believe let me just increase the size a little bit more I think this is okay make sure that this is properly at the center all right I give a gradient fill to this color this blue selecting this one and say gradient fill I'm going to select a dark color and the same color I'm going to use if you want you can just change the way it looks like okay and once this is done zoom out select all and press ctrl G to group it and then press ctrl D to duplicate and bring it down here because I have used the size bigger size I cannot add more so I'm just going to add maybe three only all right I'm just going to put something like this because the size is uh, I have taken a bigger size all right and then I can come and change the color of this to some different color maybe I'll select this color and here I'm going to change to some different color maybe purple and then you have to change the color of this as well so this color will remain the same of this and this will be somewhat darker maybe this color and here also I'm going to select the same purple color and this color will be much more darker so I'm just going to select some darker purple all right and here also if you want you can add the same gradient fill now it's time to add the text go to insert text box add the text box I will just say option 1 increase the size font size maybe center aligned and you can give uh, maybe a white color and put it here then I'm just going to text can you see there's a text option there and text option again go to the text effects and select the same text effect which is this one can you see make it bold press ctrl D bring it down this will be the option 2 again ctrl D, D and this will be the option 3 so I'm just going to make it 2 and this will be 3 again you can add the select the text press ctrl D copy the other side and change the font color to match with this and then this one will be the off axis to right so it will be like this so here you can type title and you can add a detailed text also press ctrl D so the title for this ctrl D title for uh, this now I'm going to cut this one this walls go to insert shapes select a right triangle draw the right triangle something like this make it no outline and rotate it to flip horizontal increase the size so that it should come something like this and control D bring the other side rotate it flip horizontal again alright select 
this rectangle the dark one and the blue merge shape say subtract and then select the lighter gray this side and the right triangle merge shape say subtract right you got this shape then add one more rectangle make it no outline and give some dark color maybe this color and then say send to back all right so you got this kind of uh, overall corner and then you can add any images here for example this side of the wall you want to insert the company logo so you can go to the pictures and add any a logo here make sure that this also is selected this off axis one left all right so this logo has been added there and then copy this control d and type the company name or company logo or whatever give some darker color and increase the size so this will be company name and this side if you want to add any image copy this or press ctrl d to duplicate so you got this shape and using this fill i'll say picture or texture fill select this so by default i have selected this picture or if you want you can come and select any of the images which you already have in your PC and then put it here make sure that this is aligned properly format send this to back all right and I have made the transparency level to 70% if you want like this or if you want you can increase the transparency level also and if you want to add any mission or whatever you can select copy this text control d and put it here change the color and just say company vision or mission whatever So let's see how it looks in the slideshow. So this is how the slide looks. You got the option one, option two and option three. Then you got the titles here. You can add the company logo and the company name and the right side of the wall. You can add the company vision. All right. So because I have added uh, a bigger one, a bigger option, so I cannot add it more. But if you want, you can add four or five also. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.